Welcome back to Tameron's Tactics. This is AI War Fleet Command Gameplay Tutorial Part 6. In this video, we're going to talk about the system of Auhizer, which is right off of our home system, One Jump. Okay. In that system, there is a design backup server that we're going to hack. And there's also a advanced factory which we were going to want to capture. Okay, and we have to do the hacking first because in order to capture this, we have to destroy the, the we have to put a base here which will destroy this backup server. Okay, so we, we're going to do some hacking next. The way that the design backup server works is that it stores the schematics for a specific ship design. Okay, if you look at the info card for this building on the bottom left, it says ship design stored here, Zenith reprocessor. All right. So if we were to build a hacker and bring it to this system and attempt to hack it, okay, we could spend either 50 points of our hacking points. We currently have 30. It's in green at the top of the screen there. We could spend 50 hacking points to download the schematics for the Zenith reprocessor so that we could also build that ship. Or we could spend 20 hacking points, which we can afford right now, and we would be we would be able to corrupt the schematic on their server, which would prevent the computer from being able to build that ship type anymore. Okay, that's what we're going to do because that's what we can afford with our current hacking, and we need to progress into this system next because I would really like that advanced factory. Let's go ahead and go back to the map. I'm going to grab my fleet, and I'm going to ask my fleet to just go to my home system of Vazi and rally there. We're going to send them all through here to Alhajur soon enough. I'll also go to Alhazur and I'll ask uh, my, uh, I'll build a, a hacker here by pressing B. On the Econ tab, the hacker is right here, okay? So we'll go ahead and build one of those right next to the Alhazur gate, similar to the way that we build a colony ship recently. I'll unpause it and once our fleet arrives here, we'll all rally on that Alhazur gate and the hacker will follow them in once they go in and, and are ready to attack that system. Now, it's important to understand how supply works when you're doing a hack, okay? When we're hacking, we're going to establish an offensive beachhead in their system with turrets, okay? And that's going to, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll show you why soon. We're going to need a lot of forces there. We need to put a whole lot of turrets in Alhazur right now, all right? Here's what we need to do that. I'm going to hit B to build something. We're going to go to the construction tab. And right here on the right side is a mobile builder. What that does is it allows you to build economic and defensive ships, that's turrets, okay, on enemy systems or in neutral systems as long as you have supply there, okay? And we do have supply there. Supply extends to every system that we control, which is these two, as well as every system adjacent to those systems. So you can see the supply by the yellow lines here. This is my supply, okay? This and this and all three of these have supply, as well as the two planets I own. So if I brought my hacker right here to Alhazur, along with the mobile builder, the mobile builder would be able to set up a beachhead on that system, and the hacker would be able to start hacking and have a lot of defenses for the retaliation for the hack, okay? So let's get it started. We're going to go ahead and uh, build those mobile builders. We're going to need maybe just two, okay? Really one's fine, but I'll just build a secondary just in case, all right? They'll just take a few moments. We can build like 96 of them or something, so it's fine, and they're cheap, no big deal, okay? So we'll go ahead and press 1 to select our fleet. I'm going to ask them to go through the Alhajur gate by control right-clicking, and then I'll go ahead and send my camera through with a control left-click. They go in and destroy whatever's around the, the warp gate there, no problem. Now I'm going to pause it and have my fleet do an attack move towards the base here and towards the design server, but not on it, okay? X, hold down X and right-click right over here somewhere, okay? Unpause. That's going to send our fleet over to attack those ships that are defending that base. Because we don't want to have any enemy ships in here while we're setting up our hack and stuff, okay? Can you intercept those missile frigates, perhaps? I bet you can. Yeah, let's take them out. That's good. Okay, so now that they're destroyed, we're going to go ahead and pause it again. I'm going to send my camera back through Vazi, and I'll grab the hacker and these two mobile builders, and I'm going to assign them to two. So one is my fleet, 
two is my mobile builder and my hacker. I'm going to send the mobile builder and the hacker through the gate. By control right clicking, I'll send my camera through, unpause, and then just as soon as they come through, we'll repause it. Okay. Now we've got our hacker and our mobile builder here. I would like the hacker and the mobile builder to go. Well, I need to decide where I'm going to want to have turrets in this system. Okay. When I eventually take over this system, I'm going to put my base right on top of this advanced factory with a force field. So I would really like to be able to set up my turrets over in this direction, because if you recall from an earlier video, I was saying that if, I, if our base was right here and I wanted to set up turret defenses, I would imagine a line connecting the warp gates to that base, okay? So there's a line here, and there's a line here, and then I want to build turrets that cover both those lines. So right in this area is really where I would like to put those turrets. But there is a turret over here that will shoot at us back, the missile guard post, you see? Now the missile guard post is undefended. It does not have a shield around it. It has a light hull and does bonus damage to polycrystal, which is, you know, our bombers and our tanks, okay? But our missile frigates do six times damage to light hull and do not have any of those hull types right there. So let's go ahead and grab those missile frigates, who have been very useful so far this game, I must say. And let's have just the missile frigates go right over here. I'm going to right click directly on the missile guard post and ask them to attack it. Finally, they fire back on it, and you can see they take down that missile guard post in just a couple of seconds. No problem. Okay, so now that we have uh, cleared out the enemy forces here, uh, and we have our mobile builder and, we're hack and our hacker here, uh, well, there's just a few coming in, but I mean, that's a pretty small amount. Okay, no big deal. So now that those are all cleared out, we're ready to establish a forward beachhead here on this system. Okay. We know that we want to have turrets right in here, so that it goes over these two imaginary lines. So I'm going to hit B to build something, and it's the mobile builder that allows me to build something. I'm going to bring up the turrets tab. Here's the missile turrets. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here so that those turrets cover that design server as well as cover both the lines going into this to the base where I eventually want to put it. I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift and just click in a circle there until it puts down all of those. Next we'll go to the MLRS turret and I'm going to go ahead and put them right back here so that it crosses both of those invisible lines and protects those missile turrets right there, okay? We'll do the next one. I'm going to put out the maximum number of all of these turrets so that they all intersect right here at this front line right there. All of these turrets. Okay? Now those can all protect against enemies coming into these gates to attack me once I build my base over here, and they're going to establish this forward beach beachhead. Remember, the enemy still controls this planet, okay? Let's also go ahead and put a whole bunch of sniper turrets right back here. I'm Alt-Shift clicking and just holding it down, and it'll just drop them out as fast as they can. Now that our turrets are all built and we're all in the correct position, I'm going to select the hacker on the right side here menu. This, this is the hacker. And we're going to have it build a design corruptor, which is this one right here. Okay. And you'll also note that it does say right there at the very bottom on this card that it will reduce your hacking progress by 20, okay? And each subsequent design corruption increases that cost by one and a half percent, one and a half times, okay? So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to put down the design corruptor, and we want to put it behind these turrets right there, okay? Now, as soon as I do that, it starts a five-minute timer, and we have a warning here that says AI is responding to your design corruption on Alhazar, okay? And what's going to happen is it's going to spawn ships from that area down there, okay? We've got our sniper turrets in the back that are shooting those ships out of the sky as soon as they appear, and we've got those missile turrets that cover the area that it's in that are right here, okay? They have a range that goes all the way down there, so they're able to fire upon those ships as soon as they spawn. This is how you establish an offensive beachhead while hacking, okay? We've got to do this for four minutes. And we've succeeded.
AI design data corrupted for Xena 3 processor. So as soon as that happens, the AI spawns a large group of ships right there. Let's see. Bombers, fighters, missile frigates, Zenith paralyzers. And as we can see, they are feeling cowardly there. They're terrified of our might. Rightly so. We do have a couple ships coming in on the side here, and it looks like these other turrets are actually going to get a taste of those. Yep. Morale is broken. Success. So now the computer will not be able to use the Xena 3 processing ship against us anymore. They don't have they don't have that knowledge anymore. It doesn't reduce the number of ships that they can have because they just make some other ship in its place, okay? But it does reduce the diversity of their ships, which makes it easier for us to counter what they have. Now that we have successfully hacked that, now we can go ahead and destroy the command station and capture that advanced factory. So let's go ahead and just grab our fighters, because they're the fastest ones, and I'm going to ask them to go down and destroy the orbital command station. I'll press B to build something, and under the construction tab, I'm going to build a colony ship right there. And as soon as they destroy that, our AI progress is going to go right back up to, right back up by another 20, up to 50, which is going to bring our hacking back up to 30, where it was right before we did the hack. Because it's always 15 plus 5, for the command station and the warp gate. Warp gate's automatically destroyed when you destroy the command station. All right. Look behind you. Look behind you. Now that that's destroyed, I'm going to select the colony ship, hit B, and we're going to put an economic command... or excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm going to select the command ship, and then right here I'm going to choose economic orbital command station, and I'm going to place that economic station right next to this Starship Constructor Mark V. I'm also going to go ahead and build a support force field generator right next to it. Okay, we will definitely want to protect that. Now that we have this advanced factory, we should use science to unlock a Mark III ship. All right. So far, our missile frigates have been by far the most useful ship. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab those. Let me pull my fleet back here. What's going on? Oh, yeah, I don't want them to approach those guys. Riot control ships. I'd rather have them face the turrets. Riot control ships do engine damage, and they make it so that your ships start moving really, really slow, and you can't, uh, you can't escape their cannons there. Okay, so we'll just let the turrets take care of them. Move my ships out of there. All right. Now that that base is up, we can use this advanced factory once we do that research. Come on, get that force field generator going. Oh. oh, he stealthed some ships in on me. Did you see that? <laughs> you little. Okay, so let's let's give an attack move order here. That was sneaky. See, he stealthed those ships in, and they all just fired on that command station right before that force field came back up, came up, just seconds before. Very, very tricky. <laughs> so in 95 seconds, our remains from builder will just automatically build that base, but it does kind of set us back the materials it cost to build it, which isn't that much. Honestly. That's going to be it for this video in this video tutorial series. Uh, we did uh, an offensive beachhead, we did some hacking, we corrupted that, that design, and we captured this system and that advanced factory, which is going to be a really good deal for us, you know, once it gets uh, recharged here in, in another 20 15 seconds. All right. So you're watching Tamaron's Tactics. Again, my name is Nuck Tamaron. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the continuation of this gameplay tutorial series.